black again. Luckily, there's no zombies in this one, so... And the reason I'm doing that is because it will freaking get rid of my sanity. I mean, uh, regain my sanity. Uh, sorry about that guys, I didn't mean to do that. I received a letter today from Algerina, the governor's office, disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition about a week after my departure and Adola. One of the men traveling with us returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously and expedi uh, about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party f to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned with without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow I'll retrieve things they discovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what uh, what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Fuck, I would be too.
3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Hmm. Strange. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Fourth of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, okay, I joined now I can put them, producing the, back the orb in. I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. 
the ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. But that was fucking uh, close. That fucking zomb the zombie almost got us. Sorry about that, guys. You guys hear any background noise? If that's the vacuum. My most trusted student and friend, John Johan Ware. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian uh, wood this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for the last twenty odd years. It, it is as inexplicable as Heliot Dromus described it in the Hortus, or whatever you say it. What is conclusus? It was as it was told about an underground mithraic temple crowned with unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast, it's not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox, captured within the stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Astad, invest investigating one of the antique trails. When I finally found the caverns, I, w I went inside and suddenly found I could verify the truths of genetic art artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it is has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing because of my curiosity. I did my best to fight these instincts and fetched the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber 